our producer loves the countdown. 65 days away from Christmas. <laughs> so many of you may start your holiday shopping soon. But before you shop, think about maybe making your gifts. Joining us now with some advice about how to not make it look sloppy <laughs> is a green living expert and author of The Year of Nothing New, Kristen Scary. Welcome back. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Nice, nice to see you. Nice to see you, yeah, to see you as well. Uh, yes, it, you can so easily b blow a budget when, when thinking about everyone you need to buy something for. And you're saying, wait, 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 you don't have to. Well, I think especially if you wait. So it's mid-October, not mid-December, so there's time now to start, even though that feels frustrating of things come into the stores so soon and you know we're not even to the one holiday before the next one's <laughs> coming along but uh, to reduce the stress of trying especially if you decide to make something for someone uh, to start now and break the huge project into something smaller so I decided I would make pillows this year mm. so I made a prototype I, I practiced a little bit first um, so I've got that out of the way this still needs a little bit yeah, of help where, where so did you go? Um, where did you get the great. fabric and the filler and all that? Um, the, the pillow itself is one I already had, uh -huh. and so I matched the fabric, cutting it to the size that I needed it for that. Um, these are former curtains <laughs> uh, that I found this summer at a flea market. Uh -huh. um, so that, that was kind of fun to, to do, and each one will be a little bit different. But, uh, I love uh, it. So making things just take a little bit more time. Um, also need the sewing machine and some other uh, equipment, but yeah. uh, some, some need less. Maybe it's a, about assembling something. Um, I have a friend who loves the Southwest, so I found these glasses <laughs> at uh, Volunteers of America. Oh, cool. So I she see can a little use the glasses later. There. And, and, um, so that's fun. And then yeah, just other... Let me other, hold one um, of these up here. Other, I think this is awesome. So it's fun. <laughs> Feels like we should have a cocktail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Margarita. So, yeah. Instantly yeah. jumped yeah. to the, the no, forefront of so my cool. mind. Absolutely. <laughs> And uh, I always, I, I, I really appreciate when people make things for me, especially consumable things. So I love to have, you know, as much sort of um, appreciated in the moment for sure. But um, mm -hmm. just also to something that you can use or use up. So it's not always having to buy stuff uh, for people. Well, right, because when doing this, you realize that you put the effort into, I mean, there's an effort to going out and buying, but you've made the effort into thinking about something so individualized for them and then getting your hands, I don't want to say dirty, because you didn't get them dirty here, but you know, getting in, getting there and doing the work. Yeah, and you personalize it too. You're saying, I thought about you mm -hmm. and I put in work for you. This is so much better than handing someone a gift card. Mm -hmm. I think so. And I know that there's times where that's all that can be done. And right. so, you know, nothing against the gift card. But, right. yeah, but yes, I think it does. Uh, take a little more time. I know I'm thinking about the people that will be receiving the gift as I'm putting things together. Um, my, immediately, uh, my immediate family this year, we've decided to not exchange at all, but to share something we already own. So something of meaning uh, that's in our home already. And so we're not creating something new or it's not about the stuff, it's about the time together. And, mm. and there's, I know, family culture around gifts and gift giving. Yeah. So it can be kind of hard to change. But maybe that you, you do have that. that discussion because I'm going to guess that if you ha begin that, if you're brave enough to put that discussion forward, everyone else might be like, yes, I'm feeling the same right. way, scared about my budget. Relieved, yeah. maybe, yes. So what else do we have here that you haven't um, done? Other things, so these are um, just a little bit of dried lavender you can put into a sachet. Uh, this is a candle holder. One year I made these. Uh, it's just a piece of sheet metal and you just wire the back and put that over a Cute. candle. You can embellish it with little beads or string and things. Um, these are gifts that people have made for me that I still have my oh, little initial so cool. S for scary. Um, <laughs> and then someone one year made a little box. All he did was take a, a candle and put my initial around the front of that and then put it in this box with candles and a uh, box of matches. So I still keep that. As Beautiful. A, you know, so it's small and, and probably didn't cost a lot, but it's the meaning is there and sometimes yeah. more so than um, something that's purchased. So great so ideas. Simple, simplify. Yeah, thank you so much, as Thanks always. Always a pleasure. Thank Great you. Great ideas. We'll be back. Your local headlines coming up next.